Hey guys, I'm LB, and I actually didn't make any progress on this puzzle between episodes. Instead, as you can see in the top right corner, I have actually made an application. I just whipped it up in like 10 minutes that lets me uh, figure out how to solve this. So this puzzle is a you know five by five grid, and we can pick one of two shapes from two sets. Each each color represents a different set, and I can only use one of each color. And I gotta figure out how to make them all fit on this grid, because this is also a symmetry puzzle, so I also have to clump these together somehow. And, uh, it would be a pain to try do this trial and error. I'm just gonna figure out which shapes I can use. So, let's switch over to this little lap I made. Let me make the window a bit bigger so you can see it. And, let's see. We want to... Let, let's try with the square first of all. Because the thing is, this has to be solved symmetrically. Hmm... And since the, the, the green pieces can actually be rotated, I have a way to rotate them, so don't worry about that. Uh, but we gotta figure out how we want to do that is the thing. How do we want to deal with that ability? The thing is, these have to be clumped together, and... <laughs> let's see, how could we do that? No, that's not gonna work, but what about... Mm, no, that leaves a gap. Okay, let's try it with this instead. Mm, that's something... Oops. What if I did that? Well, it's gotta be symmetrical. Okay, that's starting to look symmetrical. Oh, oh, that's close. But no, because then they ha they have to end at the, the the top tips here. Hmm. So we have to actually reach the top with whatever design we go with. No, that's not gonna work. <laughs> oh, I keep forgetting I can I can just move these anywhere because as long as I have them all encapsulated, I, I just need the pieces to fit together. Uh if I do something like that, but where would this guy go? also got to touch the bottom. Oop, nope, I didn't- I didn't want to do that. Let me try that one more time. That always leaves one little gap. It has to be symmetrical. Um... How am I going to fill that gap, is the question. I've got to use a symmetrical combination of pieces. I can't use... Mm. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, <laughs> that's so close! I can't rotate these other guys, though. Ugh! <laughs> hmm.
That's not gonna be symmetrical. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> we're so close. This is a very well designed puzzle. Hmm. That's not gonna work. No. <laughs> That's not gonna work either. I wish the game audio would play at the same time, but it's not really that interesting. Hmm. What about... Thing is, we're gonna have, like, gaps and stuff. We wanna go from the bottom to the top. And it needs to be symmetrical. We can also, as long as- we need to have the column in the middle completely filled, but the rest of it just has to be symmetrical and it doesn't matter what we do. Oh! Oh! I think that'll work. Uh, let's put this over here now, and let's see if we can get that working. So... Let's see. Yeah, that should definitely work. It's symmetrical, and it leaves the middle column free. So... Uh, let me move the window to a place where I can see it. There we go. So, what do we want to select? We want to select green at that rotation. Let's see, how are we going to get that rotation? So that's- that's this guy. It's the one that we already have selected, but we want a different rotation from him. There we go. That's the rotation we want. And let's see here. We want- oh, we already got that one. Good. Then from yellow, we want... We want the other one. How did we accomplish that before? Man, I'm already forgetting how to get the other one here. There we go. So there's that, and then down here... Okay, I think we might be able to solve this now, finally. Yes! Yes! We did it! We did it! Yes! Making that app was totally worth it. Uh, if I remember, I'll try and put a download link in the description. Uh, or actually, I can just... 
it's this is a really simple app, so I could probably just export it to a web application and put it online on my website or something. <laughs> okay. Well, let me get rid of it. Because we, uh, oops. Come on. Go away. Thank you. Okay. Uh, oh, I got turned around. There we go. So as we saw earlier last episode, there was puzzles in there, so we're gonna be coming through there at some point. But, uh... Um... We are at 426 solved, plus 61. Halfway through the episode, and we finally solved this. I am so happy about that. <laughs> you have no idea. Hmm... What turns this on? Look, he's got, like, pieces and stuff. He's, like, designing puzzles. This is a weird room. What's up with all this? Can I draw on these at all, you think? It doesn't look... I, I can. I don't really see how I could get an angle for it. This is a weird room. Is there an audio log, USB key, anywhere here? This is really weird. I don't know what to make of this. Okay, well, what is this? This is the first time I've seen a pressure plate. That is the first time I've seen something that interacts with the player. Weird. Okay, what do we got here? Wait, you have a limited time to solve them? If, if it's really limited, then I am going to take a picture with my phone, because that's how pictures work. Oh no, wait a minute, they're randomly generated, I can't do that! I have to solve them in a time limit? Oh no! <laughs> really? I think I can do one at a time, I hope. It actually randomly generates puzzles. Holy crap. Uh, oh no! <laughs> I didn't do it fast enough. I'm not that fast! Please! Have mercy on me! <laughs> uh... they thought of that. Uh... I wanna see what happens. Will- will this one- Will this one stay solved, is the question. Yes, okay, so... Let's focus on this instead. Wait, what? How should I go about... doing... that? Nope, that's not gonna work. Let me try again, please. <laughs> okay, I got lucky with that. Hey, I know where this is. What? Oh yeah, what does that bring our count up to? I wonder if those are actually randomly generated, or if there's just, like, a set of pre-made puzzles that it cycles through. <laughs> yeah, I've been... I, I've seen this in the trailer. This is, uh, yeah, this is the statue I was talking about. Oh, the music sounds really joyous and happy. And, uh... What is going on here? How am I supposed to solve these if I can't move on? Oh! 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 These puzzles wrap around! It's wrap around puzzles! 
Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is amazing. Hmm. <laughs> be tricky. Let me go back to this one real quick. <laughs> How do I want to approach this one? Oh, okay. Try this one again. <laughs> it's hard to think with these wraparound puzzles. It's very interesting, though. I like it a lot. The trick is to not go straight up. What are those gonna collide with? Those because yeah. Mmm, this is hard to think about. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Wait, that's just Okay, so the trick is to just not separate them. That's that's all it asks. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. They've got strategic breaks in effect.
this has to be the last thing we do. That's not too bad. Oh, but then that separates them. Oh no, it doesn't. It doesn't separate them. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> awesome. Uh, let's move on to this. What are we dealing with here? Just separate the whites and blacks? Okay, that's gotta be the last thing to do. What if we do something like that? No, because there's a white there. Hmm. What if we isolate the whites? Yeah, that worked. Just had to isolate the whites. Okay. Well, guys, thanks for watching. And, uh, I'll see you in the next episode where we will finish these wraparound puzzles. This is actually really cool. You know, it just keeps adding more and more variety to these puzzles, you know? I... <laughs> who knew you could get so much variety out of this kind of puzzle? Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!